Okay, this is the Kubuntu 15.4. I think they call it the Velvet uh this is the alpha one kd plasma version 5.1.1 okay this is going to be a review of this build they said they got a lot of bugs fixed i know it had some problems uh the last beta one I downloaded had a bunch of bugs to it and once you did up I did updates on it and the whole thing just crashed and gave up on it <clears throat> let's see how this one works I got this installed and it took about uh, 35 minutes fully installed that's with the running with the updates and everything okay let's see here's your calendar this is the notification thing. Here's your Wi Fi connections and the sounds. This is what it looks like when you first install it. And there's all the log out. It's got about the same software. Okay, let's look at the system settings. Looks like they cleaned it up a little bit more. Okay, let's go ahead. I like how they put all this in the uh, same little box. Let's go ahead and uh, this is going to be probably a long video because I'm going to uh, mess with it here a little bit. Of course, it shows you that preview. Let's see if that works. No. Oh, there it went. Well, it did work. Okay, let's see. I don't like the name. And let's just leave that for now. Show cap is the way I like it. I'll just go through it. See how it works. And you come over here. Okay, let's see how it handles this. I forgot to uh, click apply there. Seems like it's already getting kind of buggy. Okay, we're going to have to probably kill that. No. Okay, let's just start that over and I won't forget next time. We've already seen that. That's one bug there okay let's try again let's go all the way down here desktop cube let's push apply let's see if it remembered all this okay remembered all that that's what it did last time then let's go up to I don't care for that desktop cube animation uh, fade desktop grid <coughs> care for that I like the magic lamp how about the wobbly windows slide I don't know what sliding I don't like the screen edge oh god okay that's okay Uh, blur, zoom, don't need that. Okay. Now let's go to this. That's the way I... Cube. Get rid of that. And always. And then come up here and we go to the grid. Apply. Now it should be working. Oh, we forgot. Got to add four desktops let's see what else we got activity all right let's see now it should be working okay it looks real nice and then you come over here and you got the grid except for 
Got to set the grid right. Where's the grid? Got to put this on either automatic or custom. And now, you got the grid. That's the way I like it. And there's the wobbly windows. Okay, we got everything here. Virtual desktop switching. Okay, workspace, show tip information. I don't need to know tip information. All right, let's see, workspace themes. They only got the one there. And then I like this dark one. Let's look at that. All right, look at that. Looks nice. The cursors, they only got two for now, I guess. Might put more in there later. They're still working on this. Okay, here is where we had problems on the last uh, beta 2 is what I tested. I, I clicked on a, a dark color and it didn't stick. So let's see if it uh, works this time. Okay, I think that's what it did. It didn't, it didn't stick and then I had to reopen it. Okay, let, let's see close it let's go back to it settings system settings and now it's working now we're going to test it again color if you change the color let's say the view background will it hold the color if I lighten it up Okay, let's just see if it remembers this lighter color here. Start it back up. I don't think it did. Colors. Nope. Still went dark, so it's not remembering. Still not kind of uh, goofy on the colors. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. There's the icons. Application style. Okay. Widget style. Window management. Here's the startup and shutdown. Search, count details, region network input devices display multimedia power management turn that off for now advanced settings don't like the screen to be locked okay all we need now is a, uh, a desktop background Okay, let's check out the panel settings. Okay, that's not, uh, how do you get rid of that? Add widget. Okay. Panel settings. It's not letting me remove the remove this pager. Okay, I guess that's the way you do it. Okay, that's the way I like it. And then they have this menu here, which I really don't care for these kind of menus. I mean, it's, you know, it looks nice, but if you click on it here, click on our alternative, you get to pick these, either one of these, and this is that first one we looked at. Then you click here and you say switch, and this is the one I like. And they pop out like that. I don't know, it just seems uh, cleaner and easier to me. You just go up there and pop and, you know, get what you need. 
And there's all the log out buttons there. I, I just like these better. But so far, looks pretty good. This color here didn't change. The Wi-Fi. Okay, it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna run this one, see what it does. But it, it does have still some bugs to it. And I'm sure by, I think April, they're gonna have it fully out and going. It'll have all them bugs out of it. Let's see, what else can we look at? Of course, there's the uh, software. When you download software, that still looks the same. The updater. <coughs> System log. There's the info center. And it's got all the office. They should have put the uh, VLC player and got rid of this thing. The Dragon player. But for the most part, it looks all like the same stuff, you know. Okay, we need to... Uh, let's see, Internet. Let's fire up old Firefox here and see if we can... Uh, get online if the connection will go and let's try to find a, a bun to wallpaper Come on, connection is pouring down right now, so and this connection gets real stupid when it gets wet. Come on, Kubuntu. No. Looks real nice though. Seems like it's pretty uh, quick. You gotta be kidding me, man. My connection's not going. Okay, got the internet back working and. Uh, Went to the Kubuntu website to show you this is the Kubuntu 15.04 Alpha 1 and this is what I'm testing and it's going to be released April 5th, April 2015. Okay, can't wait for that and there's some more information on it on the website and download it, check it out. But I uh, got my internet back working, downloaded me some couple wallpapers and uh, background. And it's all working pretty good. Still has a couple bugs in it. But, uh, you know, what can you expect? There's the desktop switcher. I got that thing when you go over too far. But it all works pretty good. Looks real neat. But, uh, yeah. I like it. I can't wait for it to come out. I'm gonna be right on top of that. Uh, but uh, I'm also doing, uh, still got um, the Linux Mint 17.1 running on another machine that uh, I had 17 on that was giving me internet connection problems. But so far, the 17.1 hasn't dropped or gave me any problems. But let's just see how that goes. I'll make another video about that. But I just wanted to do this preview of the Kubuntu 1504 Alpha 1 and I can't wait for it to come out April 2015 because I really like it. it looks real nice okay I'm gonna wrap this up right here because the video is probably getting too long <laughs>